you're going to ask everybody to quiet down. Good morning. I'm Donovan Richards, Chair of the Subcommittee on Zoning and Franchises. And this morning we are joined by Council Members Vincent Gentili, Dan Garodnik, Antonio Reynoso, Barry Grudenchik, and also Council Member Perkins. Today we will be voting on three applications, the 1965 Lafayette Avenue rezoning, the National Black Theater application, and the 1776 East Chester application. We are laying over the, city's, the citywide self-storage text amendment for a new meeting we are scheduling this upcoming Thursday. So look forward to seeing you all Thursday morning. We held and closed a public hearing on all of the applications on our calendar, with the exception of the 1965 Lafayette application, for which we have received two additional tax exemption applications since our last hearing. Before moving on to a vote, we are going to hold a public hearing on the two tax exemptions. HPD submitted both of these applications under Article 11 of the private housing finance law to allow for a property tax exemption for the Lafayette development. One tax exemption would facilitate the preservation of the existing 353-unit Michelama building, while the other will facilitate the development of the new affordable housing. I will now open a public hearing for these two pre-considered tax exemption applications, and we are joined by Jordan Most from HBD. Jordan Press, sorry. Jordan Most is the other guy. Okay. Jordan Press from HBD. Jordan Most, if you're watching, hello. I hope, I, I hope he's a good guy. <laughs> he is a good guy. <laughs> uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the subcommittee. The pre-considered items consist of proposed Article 11 tax benefits for an exemption area at 1960. Five Lafayette Avenue in the Bronx, Council District 18, and is known as Park Lane. The sponsor for the project is currently before the subcommittee seeking a zoning text amendment and establishment of a mandatory inclusionary housing area related to land use items 800 and 801. Summarizing the project, Park Lane is an existing Mitchellama development. The current owner is proposing to exit Mitchellama and convey to a new sponsor who will redevelop the project site. Upon council approval, the current sponsor will commence the required 365-day notification process, informing tenants that the building will be leaving Michelama, but will be rehabilitated using private financing and an Article 11 tax exemption underwritten by HPD's Housing Preservation Opportunities Program uh, to preserve its affordability. We will also be constructing a new building under HPD's Mix and Match Program on underutilized vacant land. First, the preserved building has a total of 353 apartments. It is fully occupied. Unit distribution is 40 studios, 103 one bedrooms, 168 two bedrooms, and 42 three bedrooms. Of the 353 units, 70 are covered by a Section 8 markup to market project based voucher contract. Upon turnover, the majority of household income tiers will be at 50%, 60%, 90%, and 140% of AMI. All units will be registered with HCR and will be rent regulated. Rehabilitation within the building will include improvements to the lobby and community room. The facade of the building will be corrected to be compliant with Local Law 11 and improvements will be made to the fencing, entrance ramp and security booth. Updates will be made to the playground and existing swimming pool locker rooms and a new fitness center will be constructed. The building to be constructed under mix and match will contain 297 apartments including one supers unit. The distribution will be 64 studios, 134 one-bedrooms, 84 two-bedrooms, and 15 three-bedrooms, and household income tiers will be at 30%, 50%, 60%, 90%, and 110% of AMI. Amenities for the building will include a community room, fitness room, and below-grade parking. Additionally, under MIH, there will be 118 permanently affordable units, uh, including an additional 15% that will be required by HPD because the sponsor is taking a uh, subsidy on top of the MIH requirement. In order to assist with facilitating long-term affordability, HPD is before the council seeking approval, approval of an Article 11 tax benefit for both the preservation and new construction of uh, the two buildings for a term of 40 years that will coincide with their respective regulatory agreements. Council Member Palma has been briefed and indicated support for the project. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you. Aren't you, aren't, or is the HPD entertaining 50 year extensions more no, than that? Uh, no? The maximum under the state law is 40 years. Oh, it's 40. Okay, got it. All righty. Thank you. For your testimony. Any questions from my colleagues? All right, seeing none, I will now ask are there any members of the public who wish to testify on this issue? Okay, seeing none, I will now close the public hearing on this item. All righty, we will now move on to a vote on the applications on our calendar. We will be voting to approve land use. 
items, 805 through 807, the National Black Theater application with two modifications. The applicant, NBT Victory Development, LLC, seeks approval of a zoning map amendment, zoning text amendments to the special district, a zoning text amendment to map the site and MIH area, and a special permit to waive accessory residential parking requirements. The resulting development would include a new space to be owned and operated by the National Black Theater. We will be modifying the text amendment to eliminate MIH option number two and add the deep affordability option. And we will be modifying the special permit application to clarify that the parking waiver applies to all residential accessory parking. Councilmember Perkins is in support of, of approval with these modifications, and I will go to him for a brief statement. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. I want to uh, uh, first extend my appreciation to the council staff uh, for helping me navigate this process, which to some extent uh, has some challenging moments, particularly at a time when uh, the district that I represent is uh, very sensitive to um, affordability as defined uh, not in the uh, poetic sense of the word, <laughs> but in the reality of what's in people's pockets. And uh, also, it's uh, been very important to me because uh, to some extent my presence here has to do with the um, leadership that the National Black Theater has uh, um, been in my community, and particularly in terms of my own personal uh, political as well as creative development. And so it's uh, been a, somewhat of an honor to be able to uh, represent them and then to bring them into uh, this kind of a project uh, that will have such meaningful um, sort of a bread and butter reality uh, uh, for, the, uh, the, for my district and for the people that live in my district. And so clearly um, such a visionary organization rooted in this, in this community has been transformative, not as I said, not only in the artistic way, but also in the bread and butter needs way, particularly in terms of affordable housing that this project it represents. And when we talk about affordable, we're not talking about the, the uh, affordable in the sort of uh, generic way of, of affordability, but more in the realistic way of what, makes, what meets people's pocketbooks in that neighborhood. Affordable now has become a sort of a, a term that is used and very often misused from the perspective of who has to be paying the rent. <laughs> and so this one, I believe, meets the, the need of uh, people's pockets that I represent, and by the same token, uh, helps a, a, um, an outstanding organization that has been a partnership, or really more beyond partnership, more like neighbors in the community. And it's great to be able to see them develop and develop in such a way that they not only bring artistic creation uh, to the neighborhood, but at the same time, affordable housing that represents the needs of the people in the neighborhood. So uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to, to share how I feel about it. And obviously, I'm going to be very supportive of this project. And hopefully, it becomes a trendsetter uh, for other neighborhoods similar to this Harlem community. There are many Harlems and East Harlems in, in this city that would, would, I think would be blessed by having this type of project support it in their neighborhood, and I hope we can do that time and time again. Thank you, Councilmember Perkins. We will be moving on to vote to approve the 1965 Lafayette Avenue rezoning with a modification <coughs> to remove mandatory inclusionary option number two in order to ensure that the MIH units in the development are available to lower income residents. Councilmember Palmer supports approval with this modification. We will also be voting to approve the two related tax exemption applications that HBD spoke of a little earlier. We'll be voting on the 1776 East Chester Road application with a series of modifications. This application is for a zoning map amendment, tax amendment, and special permit that would facilitate the development of 182 units of nonprofit hospital staff dwelling units. These units would house hospital staff for the nearby Monteferry Hospital. We will be voting to modify the application to remove from the rezoning the proposed C4-2A district to the south of the development site. Removing this area would not affect the proposed development. We will, be also, we, we will also be modifying the tax amendment to remove MIH option one. Councilmember Vaca supports with these modifications. Are there any 
questions or comments from members of the subcommittee? Seems like there's a lot of comments down there. <laughs> Seeing none, okay, I will now call on a vote to approve land use items number 800, 801, 802 through 804, and 805 through 807 with the modifications I just described and to approve the two pre-considered tax exemption applications. Council, please call the roll. Oh, why did I bang? Okay. I didn't mean to do that. It's Monday. I didn't have coffee. All righty, we're going. All righty. Chair Richards. Uh, congratulations to the National Black Theater. Congratulations to uh, all of the uh, council members with applications in their districts. Uh, these are some great projects, uh, especially the Lafayette. I think we're going to really do some good things to make sure we fix underlying conditions in the existing, in the existing Michelama, but also uh, force a new development on that site as well. Uh, and to Councilmember Vaca, congratulations. I vote aye on all. Councilmember Gentile. With uh, hearty congratulations to Councilmember Perkins, I vote aye on all. Councilmember Garodnik. Aye. Councilmember Reynoso. I vote aye. Okay. Councilmember Gradenchik. Aye. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions, land use items 800 through 807 are approved with modification, and pre -considered, two pre-considered land use applications for tax exemptions are approved. Okay, I will hold the vote open for another 15 minutes. You all are free to leave if you wish. No, you can't. I can't bang, no. <laughs>